both the genders that means male and female it is very much evident however there are other differences also which are based on uh, the aspects of uh, psychology Hello everyone today we will be talking about gender differences now we all are very much aware that we have uh, you know different ways in which men and women are operating so how do psychology depicts this so uh, psychology says that uh, gender differences that means how men and women could be differentiated is on the basis of social behavior on the basis of thinking that means uh, men and women have a different way of thinking so gender differences based on thinking and also the personality of both the sections differ widely now how is this happening so psychology says that uh, there are two major factors based on which we can say that both men and women are uh, operating differently so first is cognitive difference now what is cognitive difference now this is uh, the ability or the difference in the ability of both the genders to pay attention to certain things how to use the memory and uh, if i say in short it is about uh, iq that means your intelligence quotient now uh, if you see according to the study of diamond now this person or the psychologist was of the opinion that diamond <coughs> believed the verbal ability or the women's women's have high quotient in verbal abilities whereas uh, men's have high quotient for mental or you can say calculative abilities now see what is happening that means uh, men's are more towards uh, you know uh, this calculation things that means uh, uh, mental calculation etc however uh, with the women it is more towards uh, verbal abilities that means women are more good towards verbal abilities and men's are more good good towards calculative skills now uh, this is what uh, cognitive uh, difference say that that is the reason why you have you know different personality of uh, men section whereas different personality for the women section however certain researchers were of the opinion that this might exist similarly biological parameters might also exist but you cannot uh, you know uh, get rid of this fact that social and uh, personality differences have a huge impact on both men and women so what is happening is that uh, cognitive difference is talking about uh, mental and calculative skills now social and uh, personality differences are talking about that these two genders that means men and women men are raised in an environment where they are told to suppress their emotions so um, according to the researchers they say that men have this tendency or men are raised in a manner men 
parents are raised in a manner where they are told to suppress their emotion. That means, uh, you know, they, they say that um, uh, don't cry like a girl. So this is what they are saying that men should not cry. They uh, they should not. They should be very strong. They should um, not express their emotions like this, and um, they should not be considered as weak. So if they are crying or if they are expressing their emotions, they are considered as weak. So this is what uh, social and personality development talks about that. Men are told to suppress their emotion, that means not to cry, not to express their feelings, so not to express their feelings. Whereas uh, women are raised in a very different manner, that means uh, women are uh, told to express their emotions. Now, express their emotion, how? Uh, they have to more empathize, sympathize, etc. So, women are told to empathize or to have empathy, show sympathy, etc. So, uh, this is what social, uh, social uh, reasons are for uh, difference between men and women. Now, other than this, uh, what? else is contributing towards uh, difference between uh, both the gender. So in social personality difference, um, there was another research and another study that was conducted uh, based on which um, it said that the fMRI technology also studied you know the brains both or brains of both the genders and what they said was that uh, as per this technology or as per the study that was conducted by uh, using this technology it said that uh, men's while you know while talking or while listening they are using the left hemisphere of their brain. So this is like the entire biological aspect that I'm telling you, left hemisphere of their brain. Whereas uh, the women's, while women are talking, they use both the sides of their brain. both the side of the brain. Now, how both the side of the brain? That means uh, they are listening to the content part. That means when the men's are uh, using the left hemisphere, that means they are very much focused on uh, the content. And uh, when it's about the women, so they are focused on the content. They are focused on the emotions, that means uh, on the tone and the body language of the person. So this is the study that was, uh, you know, conducted by fMRI technology, which uh, talks about, uh, you know, how the both the genders are, uh, you know, behaving or operating when it comes to mind. Now, other than this, uh, again, one of the research was conducted. Now, this research, uh, you know, talked about what? Now, this research was uh, talking about the fact that. Uh, when it's a discussion which is uh, happening between men's when there's a discussion which is happening between men's it is called a report style of communication
Now, reports style of communication says what? That means these people uh, talk about sports, these people talk about current events, etc. So, most of the time what is happening is they are, uh, you know, trying to dominate on the conversation. So, they, the, this report style of communication is basically talking about uh, sports, current event, etc. Now, when it's about women's, they have a relate style of communication. Now, what is relate style of communication? Now, relate style of communication. Um, if you find in this kind of communication, women uh, try to empathize, they try to relate, they try to compare, etc. So, if you see uh, what is happening in uh, the study of gender difference, now, um, according to Ziller, according to uh, Ziller, this person or the psychologist was uh, very much accepting the fact that the biological differences are very much evident. biological differences between both the genders that means male and female it is very much evident however there are other differences also which are based on uh, the aspects of uh, psychology right and after he talked about all this then we got to know that okay, somewhere or other social behavior, the thought process, the personality also is contributing towards gender differences. Now, other than that, when we talked about cognitive differences, we found that Diamond, the psychologist, has talked about women have high quotient in uh, verbal abilities, whereas men have high quotient towards mental abilities, that means they have a good calculative skills, calculation skills, etc. Now, coming to social and personality development and personality differences, men are always told by the society to suppress their emotions, not to cry, not to express their feelings. However, when it comes to women, they are told to express their emotions, that means empathize, sympathize and more vocal about their feelings. And this study was uh, further proved by fMRI technology which says that men have been using the left hemisphere of their brain that means they focus on content while women use both the sides of their brain that means they focus on content, they focus on emotion that is they focus on the tone, they focus on the body language etc. So, uh, to know more, uh, we shall keep the videos further uh, here in progress. Thank you so much.